big sacra tip. I'm using the floppy arm action that I've just started introducing into my class. What is it? Palms facing each other and absolutely no real resistance with my arms, but it's all driven by my torso. So it's this sort of motion. But I've also added it to a lower body motion, a really familiar movement, the cross country ski. So this is what it looks like. abdominal exercise I know why it's to do with how long those arms are so even though the arms are floppy and I have no tension in the wrist or the elbow of course I'm driving it with my torso to get the arms to go side to side because they themselves are not doing much but the key is to keeping the arms out in front if I bring the hands in here nothing nothing so the arms need to be right out the front you'll notice i'm doing a quite a fast cross-country ski and i'm going out in out in now can you do it with the knee lifts yes you can so if you want to add a tucking motion it's not as effective for activating the abdominals because the arms are not moving fast enough for the torso to have to drive it, right? So that's a little bit different. The lower body definitely got a bit more of a workout like it would normally, but I think it works best with the straight leg, but faster activation. So heels down and driving the legs through the water and trying to keep those long arms in front moving at the same pace. Look at all that resistance. Who would have thought that noodle arms, floppy noodle arms would give you that? It's amazing. So sometimes I think, well, if that's what they're going to do, let me see if I can find out how to make it a workout. So cool little exercise, very different from things I've shared with you before. And that is this week's Aqua Tip. I call them floppy noodle arms because, you know, noodles, when they're, um, when they're cooked, cooked noodles and they're all very floppy. That's what it feels like with my arms. There's no muscle tension or stiffness. But if the arms are floppy, remember the rest of the body needs to be working hard for it to be an effective abdominal workout. So we've got the floppy arms. We've got the palms facing each other. The arms are fully extended in front of the body and I always have this arm doesn't want to flop as much as this arm. I don't know, this arm's better. This arm feels a little stiff. But anyway, I think your class will get the idea. The thing is to make sure your fingers look like they're dragging through the water, right? So that they're going the same way. And then you add the legs. So I recommend that you teach the floppy arm action first. But remember, it's in a short range of motion and the tempo needs to be quite quick so it's not long and slow. You know, you might start with long and slow and then slowly get them to do it a little bit faster. And then you add the cross country ski legs. Now, depending on your coordination, you actually might find this a little weird to do because it makes more sense when your legs are stiff that your arms stay stiff as well. So it took me a little bit of practice to actually do it on land. It was much easier in the water because you've got that resistance in the water and your arms can relax in that resistance. But on land, it's a lot harder, let me tell you. So it did take me a little bit of practice. So you want the arms out in front. You want the cross country ski to be a short stride. Keep your heels down and emphasize to your class, they need to feel it in their abdominals. Because if they don't feel it in their abdominals, they may need to shorten the range of motion slightly with their arms and with their legs to pick up the tempo till they do feel it. So make this the target focus. I have turned a corner and found ways to use this floppy arm action 
and you know what I'm liking it I actually really like this change so I hope that you enjoyed this week's aqua tip if you haven't already done so please subscribe and hit the notification button so you know when I'm uploading my next aqua tip